for the 2013-2014 com, uh, Common Council year. Would the clerk please read the quote of the day? Thank you. Good management is the art of making problems so interesting and their solutions so constructive that everyone wants to get to work and deal with them. Thank you for that quote. Next is the uh, roll call. Clerk, please call the roll. Press one for attending. Thirteen present. Next, please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next is the approval of the minutes. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to approve the minutes of the previous council meeting. Second. Thank you for that motion and second. Those minutes are before us. Any discussion on the minutes? Seeing none. All those in favor, please press your one button or no, no your number two button. Press one for approve. Ah, come on. Thirteen eyes. Next is uh, resignations. City Attorney. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, the first is a uh, letter from Mayor Vandersteen advising he's resigning his position, effective 4-17-2013, uh, from the Harbor Center Business Improvement District as he's no longer the manager of Dubois Formal Wear. And uh, there's a letter to the mayor from Lee Montemayor Jr. advising that due to conflicting schedules, he must resign his position as the transit commissioner effective 4-30-2013. And then there are two bits of correspondence, one from uh, Alderman Todd Wolf advising that he's resigning his position as district one alder person for the city. Uh, due to the fact that he's just taken a job out of state and would be moving with his family. And an email from Alderperson Decker advising that uh, due to conflicts and life changes and career changes, uh, he's resigning his position as Alderman of the 6th District uh, as of today. And Alderman Wolf's resignation, I believe, also includes a uh, resignation from the City Planning Commission, correct? Right, right, right. Okay. Uh, entertain a motion to accept and file. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file. Second. Thank you for that motion. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please press number one number, and number two against. Thirteen ayes. Next, we'll go on to council appointments. City Attorney. To the honorable members of the Common Council, I hereby submit the following appointments for your confirmation. To the Joint Review Board, Mayor Mike Vandersteen, Gretchen Thomas, who is the school board representative, Lucio Fuentes, LTC representative, and Tom Wagner, uh, representative of the county board. Uh, all terms expiring 4-30-2014, signed by the mayor. Those will lie <coughs> over. <coughs> Do we have any uh, one registered? Pardon me? He's got more. Oh, I'm sorry. Please proceed. And then uh, there's one signed by the mayor and also uh, Jim Amodio as chief administrative officer. And uh, the first one is <coughs> uh, pursuant to uh, newly created section 82 2 of the municipal code relating to the position of director of human resources and labor relations. Uh, they are both recommending that Sandy Rarick be appointed as the Director of Human Resources and Labor Relations for the city, effective immediately. And under the ordinance, the, uh, the mayor and the chief administrative officer make recommendations to the council, but the council appoints that individual. 
And then the other one is uh, <coughs> pursuant to section 86-92, which was an amendment to the code relating to the appointment of the Director of Planning and Development. Uh, we hereby recommend that Chad Pelichek be appointed as the Director of Planning and Development for the City of Sheboygan, effective immediately, signed Mayor Vandersteen and Chief Administrative Officer Amodio. Those appointments will also lie over. Next, we'll go on to the public forum. Okay, before we go on to the public forum, the city attorney will give us some information about the process for replacing the aldermen that have resigned. All right, thank you, Your Honor. Um, pursuant, this is statutory, pursuant to section 17.26 of the statutes, uh, when an alder person uh, resigns, the, uh, the vacancy is filled by appointment by the Common Council. And uh, that a person so appointed, a person so appointed holds the office until uh, a successor is elected and qualified. And unless otherwise ordered by the council, the successor is elected for the balance of the unexpired term on the first Tuesday of April next after the vacancy happens. So uh, in this case, that would be next April. Uh, the statute does provide that the council may, if a vacancy occurs before June 1 in the year preceding expiration of the term of office, which this does, you can have uh, order a special election for the first Monday of November. Um, I've had some discussions with the uh, city clerk Richards about doing that. That there's right now there's nothing else scheduled for the November election, so that would be additional cost to the city. So. Uh, but that would be up to the council to bring forward if you wish to have a special election. Otherwise, uh, the, uh, whoever you appoint as alder person for those two seats would remain in office until next April when the uh, next regular election would be for all the people. And please go ahead. Alderman Bellinger. Thank you, Mayor. Um, so in the instance of Alderman Wolf's position, so it's not to fulfill his two-year term, extending term, it would just be for one year, and then would the subsequent election just be for a one-year term? Yes, to fill the unexpired okay. term, right. Thank you. And if the council follows the past practice, uh, you would be looking at appointing those replacements at the, likely the June 3rd council meeting, and uh, And assuming that's the process you want to follow, you confirm that at the next meeting if you want to establish that as the policy. Uh, and then the mayor had a note here that for uh, uh, applications for the vacancies, uh, any interested citizens from District 1 and District 6, which <coughs> Includes, District 1 includes wards 1, 2, and 3, and District 6 includes wards 19, 20, and 21, uh, should apply by sending a letter and a biographical outline to the city clerk's office as early as possible. And uh, then, as I say, uh, the council would fill those uh, positions by, by ballot uh, of the council. So, if there's any questions, if citizens want to know where the wards are, what the districts are, they should check with the city clerk's office. They've got the maps that would indicate the, whether or not the persons would fit within those particular districts. Okay, thank you. Next, we'll go on to the public forum. Has anyone registered? Uh, no, not this evening. Okay, next we'll go on to the uh, consent agenda. Uh, 2-1 through 2-1-8, Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file all, all ROs, accept and adopt all reports of committee, pass all resolutions, ordinances, and substitute ordinances. Second. It's been moved and second to accept and file all ROs, accept and adopt all RCs, pass all resolutions, ordinances, and substitute ordinances. All those in favor, please signify. Is there any discussion, first of all? Seeing none, all those in favor, please press number one or opposed, press number two. One or two, which one? 
13 eyes. Next, we'll go on to uh, communications and petitions. Alderman Hammond. It's a referral. Okay, this is just a referral to finance. And then we'll go on to reports of officers, 4-1 through 4-7 to be referred. And also note in 4-3 that the referral was to uh, transit, not public protection and safety. Number five, resolutions, 5-1 five, through 5-5, five, five, also to be referred. And reports of committees. Alderman Hammond. Do you want to read that? Jody. Okay, 6.1, an RC by law and licensing, recommending denying the taxi cab driver's license number 9900. Uh, based on her failure to accurately reveal all relevant convictions on her application, her record of violations and relating to the licensed activity and her failure to cooperate with the committee. Maybe Jody. Jody. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. Thank you for that motion and second. The um, motion is before us. Is there any discussion? Under discussion, Alderman Vanderweele. Is Amanda Wilterdink here this evening? She is not here. We invited her to our committee twice and she did not appear either time. Thank you. Seeing no other discussion, all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye or pressing number one. And to oppose, number two. 13 ayes. Uh, 6.2 is uh, referred to the Public and Protection and Safety Committee. 6.3 is an RC by law and licensing recommending uh, granting a change of premise for Allen Alls with various caveats. Alderman Vanderweele. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. Then moved and second to accept and adopt. Any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, well, please vote, pressing one for approval and two to not approve. 13 ayes. 6.4, an RC by law and licensing recommending denying a beverage operator's license to number 5729 based on her failure to accurately reveal all relevant convictions on her application, her record of violations related to the license activity, and her failure to cooperate with the committee. Alderman Vanderwilly. Thank you. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. Then moved and seconded. Uh, to adopt this, uh, any discussion? Is Michelle Passmore here this evening? She is here. Um, I ask that this uh, be referred back to law and licensing um, simply because we would like to have the police department represented when we um, look over her application. Second. We can just refer it back. It's been moved and seconded to refer this back to law and licensing. Please press one to approve and two to deny. Thirteen eyes. Thank you. Number seven ordinances seven one through seven four to be referred. Um, next uh, on seven four, we should note that seven four is lying over, and then we'll go on to other matters. City attorney. One is communication received by the city attorney from Mr. Brian Bartozak, Wisconsin Public Service Corporation, relating to WPSC's investigation and remediation of contaminants at WPSC's historic manufactured gas plant on the city's Camp Marina property located at 732 North Water Street. That will be referred to Public Works. 8.2 is a resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to execute the Camp Marina Maintenance Agreement. It'll also be referred to Public Works. 
8.3 is an RO by the city clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2014. And uh, June 30, 2013, I, well, I'm not sure what the, June 30, 2014 and June 30, 2015? Yes. That'll be referred to law and licensing. 8.4, submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2014 and June 30, 2015. That'll also be referred to law and licensing. And 8.5 is an ordinance amending section 29-75 of the 1975 municipal code so as to add a position to the police department table of organization. That'll be referred to salaries and grievances. Next item is a closed session. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. After a short recess, I move to convene into a closed session under the exemption on 16, uh, excuse me, section 19.851E Wisconsin statutes for the purpose of deliberating the possible lease of city owned property where competitive and bargaining reasons require a closed session. Second. Move and second it to go, go into closed session. Please register your vote. One to go into closed session and two to not. 13 eyes. Five minutes then, we'll reconvene.